Okay, let's turn to some domestic news when it comes to business and the interest rates. There's no relief for borrowers, but no fresh pain either. The Bank of Canada is holding its benchmark rate at 5%, the second time in a row it's done so. But the bank warned of new factors that could keep rates higher for longer than many struggling borrowers have been hoping for. Jeannie Lee joins us now with more on this. Okay, so how did the Bank of Canada explain today's decision? Well, Arthi, um, it talked about the sharp rise of uh, interest rates that started about 18 months ago and how they're having their intended effect uh, because it does take a long time for the, f the rate hikes to uh, filter their way through the economy, and they certainly are, and it takes time for the later rate hikes to um, have their effect. And so for now, the bank will stay on hold and give those rate hikes time to take hold. So here is why specifically the latest data that uh, tell the Bank of Canada that uh, the state of the economy uh, might do with a rate hold for now. So the inflation rate, for example, down to 3.8 percent, but nowhere near where uh, the bank wants it at 2 percent, still lower than it was. Now, rate hikes have also slowed uh, retail, housing and hiring, and these are things that often happen with uh, interest rate increases um, because they also uh, lower the price of uh, many things and that does help price inflation. So it's an in intended or maybe an unintended or undesired side effect, but it does happen. Now, the labor market is still tight enough though that wages are going up. Workers can demand higher wages and uh, certainly wages that are beating inflation now and that is happening and that could reignite inflation. So that's something to watch. The other thing is rate hikes have been global and they're having the effects around the world and so a lot of economies are slowing and that's the context that Canada has to operate in. Although the U.S. economy is holding up better than expected, China is worse than expected. So uh, the Bank of Canada has to take all of that into account. No need to uh, raise rates, no urgent need to raise rates today. But the bank also did uh, say that uh, it would not hesitate to act if the data changes. But for consumers and businesses, this is what these uh, various rate hikes have uh, added up to. The highest borrowing costs in 22 and a half years. This chart shows us exactly what we're talking about. When you go back 25 years, you will see that, uh, yes, the latest uh, current rate is at 5%, has been since July of this year. The last time it was at 5% was in early March of 2001. So that makes the current level the highest in 22 and a half years since the turn of the century. And that is what people are dealing with right now. And now, Jeannie, the bank also updated its outlook for rates and the economy. What does that forecast say? Well, that forecast says uh, sees uh, inflation more stubborn than first thought. In fact, the bank had to raise its average rate of inflation that it predicts for this year to 3.5% and that that'll stay well into next year, um, which means that rates may have to stay higher for longer as well to combat that. At the same time, though, the bank uh, noted that there's a new factor, um, oil prices. They have been higher than what the bank forecasted back in July, and that a lot of that uh, has been uh, ignited again by, um, obviously, the conflict in Israel. And so have a listen to what the bank governor had to say about that. And rising global tensions are increasing risks. In a more hostile world, energy prices could move up sharply, supply chains could become disrupted again, and all of that could push up inflation again around the world. But in the meantime, uh, rates are at a 22 and a half year high. Arthi, which is the age of the bank teller who offered me a GIC at 6%, uh, which is the highest in his lifetime, really, uh, when, we, when we think about it. That's the flip side of higher interest rates. The flip side, indeed. Thank you for that, Jeannie.